<laughs> Many of us love a bad boy, but a woman from Oxfordshire has taken her obsession to a whole new level by marrying a US death row inmate. The woman, who was reportedly obsessed with documentaries about serial killers, married Manuel Ovante Jr., who was convicted of murdering two people. Now, she told her family she was actually on holiday in uh, Disney World in Florida, and it wasn't until she actually posted pictures of her wedding ceremony in jail that they finally discovered the truth. I mean, mm. quite apart from the whole human interest of this, Katie, because yeah. it fascinates me, people mm. that develop relationships with long-term with long prisoners. Do you think somebody on death row should be allowed to get married? Well, I think death row is a very extreme example, isn't it? Because when we use the word prisoners, you know, that's a large, wide, varying group of people. People get custodial sentences for unpaid parking fines, and some people end up on death row for multiple murders. Um, but whoever you are, people in prison are still people. And if you believe in the prison system, particularly here in the UK, then you believe in rehabilitation, because that's what prison is. And I think a big part of rehabilitation and turning your life around can be relationships can be a uh, connection that can be very healing but what about um, the, not so much about relationships I don't think those should be but what about they can get married when they come out well this is the other thing because another part of prison aside from rehab is the only punishment to prison is loss of liberty and loss of freedom and I think if you're able to move forward with your life in a way that involves getting married I think that's very difficult for your victim you know some victims can't move on and actually seeing that could be really disrespectful and damaging for them. So, yes, I do believe in people having hope. Everybody needs hope, whoever you are, and I want people to be rehabilitated. But I think you, you, you consummate that relationship and you, you marry on release. And if you're not being released, there's a reason. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. Kelly, where do you stand? Oh, I, it's, I think it's difficult because the criminal justice system has so many uh, flaws and there are so many people serving time and having, and having sentences that actually are falsely accused and, and, also, and, and also falsely convicted. And they're just not in that situation where they've got enough money or enough backing or support to be able to actually, you know, support themselves going through the judicial system. So, therefore, they get lost and they're spending time on a sentence that they're actually, you know, innocent for. So, um, it's difficult because there are those situations that are happening all the time within the prison uh, system. So, for me, um, would I allow them to get married? I think that's, it's, it's difficult because... Um, it's that relationship that's happening outside of what your your punishment that you're supposed to be having. So, well, I, especially I, I in this sense. situation, like a death yeah. row inmate, imagine being the family of the two people that he murdered, seeing mm. him get married. I know there's no chance of him being released. I Which am rather obsessed... begs the question: What's the point? If well, what's the point out? in death row? I mean, I no, what's I am... the point in, no, what's in the getting point? married? That's what I mean on, on death row. Uh, on death row, that exactly it. But I'm obsessed with this topic because one of my favourite um, shows is Love After Lockup. And there are many. Oh, my God. <laughs> Love After Lockup. Please, ladies and gentlemen, watch it because you'll be obsessed. Because as an amateur psychologist that I've billed myself, <laughs> given myself that role, I am fascinated with people mm. who... Obviously, we all know you can be with someone and then they go to prison and you stay with them for the duration of their sentence. That's different. These are people, men and women, who actively pursue relationships with those in prison. And watching it over... There are uh, dating websites, oh, dating there, specifically you to you know, meet people prison in prison. Prison loves, prison, yeah. prison mates, prison, all of these different things. And you have... People who are very well educated, very well brought up um, pe people who are obsessed with bad boys and bad girls. But the main thing that they that they love, and this is where the psychology comes in, it's the per while that person is in prison, they are totally indebted to you. You are their life. Mm -hmm. the, you are the only person they call. You are the person they rely on for everything. And the person outside loves that control. And they think in their minds that that's going to happen. So what happens is the, the cameras follow them. They then, they, they, so they, however long they've been together. So you, you go with the cameras go, the person, man or woman, gets out of jail. Within seconds of getting in the car, especially the women, there's a great big reunion and the women are literally saying, oh, it's so amazing that you're, you know, you're getting out of jail. I've picked this for the wedding venue. So I'm, and literally, by the time they get back to the house, wherever <laughs> they're going to be, the prisoner is thinking, 
get me back to jail <laughs> because they've realised that they are coming out to another in prison situation and everything, of course, falls apart. And But people are obsessed with this illusion mm. of having someone who is totally... There. Do you think it's the like reality... a virtual reality? Isn't yeah, because I think the reality it is, is like what a virtual it's... reality. And it says about the civilian what they really want is somebody that isn't physically and emotionally available because actually they wouldn't be able to conduct themselves in a normal relationship. So this is a safe space to have what society thinks is a relationship. Mm. You know, mm. Mm. but it's interesting. Yeah, because I, I think a lot of people watching would say, well, if you've taken away somebody's life, mm -hmm. you've, you you kind of lose your own human right. And, and, you know, once you've served your time and you're out, you can do what you want. Yeah. Um, but, certainly yeah. certainly on, on, on death row, but like you say, that's not saying that there shouldn't be, you know, rehabilitation and, and, yeah. and hope.